When you're setting up a website, one of the first big decisions you'll face is choosing the right hosting plan. It can feel like diving into a sea of unfamiliar terms, especially if you're not particularly tech savvy like me. I know all the terms, but the good news is that you don't need to be a tech expert to understand the basics. And by the end of this, you'll know exactly which hosting option, shared hosting or VPS hosting is the right fit for you. You'll also find a deal involving one of my favorite hosting providers. So if you want to have your site hosted for less then stick around. Moreover, choosing a hosting plan depends on several factors, including your budget, the amount of traffic you expect and how much control you want over your site's performance. To break it down into simple terms, shared hosting is like renting an apartment, while VPS hosting is more like owning a townhouse. Each option has its pros and cons, and depending on your specific needs, one will probably make more sense than the other. So let's get started with shared hosting. Shared hosting is the most common type of hosting, and there's a reason why so many people start here. It's affordable and easy to manage. So we're going to use that apartment building analogy again. So you get your own space your website, but you're sharing the same building, the server, with other people, which is other websites, of course. This setup keeps costs low because you're splitting the server resources like CPU power, memory, and storage with other websites. Now, the upside of shared hosting is pretty clear. It's affordable and simple to manage. For example, Hostinger offers shared hosting plans starting at just $2.99 per month, which is ideal if you're just getting started and need something budget-friendly. Plus, Hosting or shared hosting includes some extra features like a free SSL certificate, which makes sure that your site is secure, a website builder so you can easily design your site, and automatic backups just in case anything goes wrong. All these tools are great if you don't want to worry about the technical side of running a website. Shared hosting works best for people who are building smaller websites. If you're starting a personal blog, a portfolio, or a small business site, shared hosting will probably give you everything you need. It's also perfect for someone who isn't too experienced with web hosting or doesn't want to get into the nitty gritty details of managing a server. With hosting or shared hosting, you have access to a control panel that's straightforward and easy to use. You won't need to deal with complicated server settings because Hostinger handles all the behind the scenes technical stuff like server maintenance and security updates. However, there are a few trade-offs with shared hosting. Because you're sharing resources with other websites, the performance of your site isn't entirely in your control. For example, let's say another website on the same server as yours gets a huge traffic spike. This can affect your site's speed even though you didn't do anything wrong. It's a bit like having a noisy neighbor in your apartments. If they're throwing a party, you might hear it, even if you're trying to sleep. In hosting terms, your website might slow down if your server neighbors are hogging the resources. This is one of the biggest downsides of shared hosting. Another limitation of shared hosting is that you don't have much control over server settings. Your hosting provider keeps a tight grip on these settings to ensure that everything runs smoothly for all users on the server. For most small websites, this isn't a huge issue, but if you're someone who likes tinkering with technical settings, you might find this restrictive. This is where VPS hosting comes in. VPS, or Virtual Private Server Hosting, is a step up from shared hosting. If shared hosting is like living in an apartment, VPS hosting is, again, like upgrading to a townhouse. You're still part of a larger neighborhood, the physical server, but you've got your own space and yard, like dedicated resources, and what your neighbors do won't affect you as much. VPS hosting uses virtualization technology to split a physical server into several virtual servers. Each website on a VPS has its own dedicated portion of the server's resources, like CPU, memory, and storage. This means that even though you're sharing the same physical server with other websites, your portion operates independently, almost as if you had your own private server. Hostinger's VPS plans, for example, start at $4.99 per month, which is a higher price than shared hosting, but comes with a lot more power and flexibility. One of the major benefits of VPS hosting is that you have far more control over your server environment. You can customize your server settings, install your own software, and basically tweak things to fit your needs. This makes VPS hosting ideal for websites that are growing or need more resources, like online stores, larger business sites, or resource-heavy websites that handle a lot of traffic or data. Hostinger's VPS plans also come with full root access, which means you can configure the server exactly how you want. 
Whether you want to run specialized apps, manage advanced settings, or set up custom security protocols, VPS gives you that freedom. Another big advantage of VPS hosting is performance because you have your own dedicated portion of the server's resources. This means that no matter how much traffic other sites on the server are getting, your website will continue to run smoothly. For instance, Hostinger's VPS plants offer dedicated CPU cores, RAM, and SSD storage, which makes sure that your site can handle higher traffic volumes without lagging or crashing. And we can't forget about security, because if you have your own isolated environment, you're less likely to be affected by security vulnerabilities from other websites. With shared hosting, if another website on your server gets hacked, there's a chance that it could affect your site as well. But with VPS, your environment is much more secure. Hostinger's VPS plans come with built-in security features like automatic backups, DDoS protection, and more, which adds an extra layer of protection for your sites. Of course, VPS hosting isn't for everyone. It's more expensive and it requires a bit more technical knowledge to manage. If you're just starting out, shared hosting is probably all you need. It's affordable, easy to use, and allows you to focus on building your website without worrying about managing a server. Again, hosting or shared hosting plan is $2.99 per month, which is a great option for beginners. It gives you everything you need to get started, including a free SSL certificate, a website builder, and 24-7 support if you ever run into any issues. Now, let's talk about scalability. One of the biggest advantages of VPS hosting is that it's easy to scale your resources as your website grows. With shared hosting, your options for growth are somewhat limited. If your site outgrows shared hosting, you'll likely have to switch to a different plan or even a different hosting provider. VPS hosting, on the other hand, is much more scalable. As your site grows, you can simply increase your server's resources without needing to move to a completely new hosting environment. Hostinger makes it easy to upgrade your VPS plan as needed, allowing you to scale up or down depending on your site's traffic and resource requirements. So which hosting option should you choose? Well, if you're just getting started, shared hosting is likely the best choice. It's affordable, easy to manage, and gives you everything you need to get your site off the ground. However, if your site is growing or if you need more control over your server environment, VPS hosting is worth the investment. And for those of you who've been waiting, you can use the code SITESTARTERS for an extra discount on Hostinger, so check that out by heading to the description below. In conclusion, the choice between shared hosting and VPS hosting ultimately depends on your website's current and future needs. Shared hosting is perfect for smaller websites, personal blogs, or portfolios, while VPS hosting is ideal for larger websites, online stores, and businesses that need more control and flexibility. The great thing is, you don't have to make this decision right away. You can start with shared hosting and easily upgrade to VPS hosting as your website grows. Hostinger offers flexible plans that allow you to scale as needed so you can focus on building your website without worrying about your hosting plan keeping up. If you guys enjoyed that video, consider liking and subscribing to show your support. If you have any further questions, just ask in the comments below and I will get to you ASAP. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.